this is uh, Peter Kanachny. Hi, this is Sandra Alvarez. And we are Medievalist.net. And Sunday morning here at the International Congress at Western Michigan University, and we are tired. Very tired and about to uh, pack up and go home. Uh, we had a really busy few days. Peter had a busy four days. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, um, it, I thought it was a pretty good conference. We're not staying for the last uh, couple of the Sunday morning lectures, but most people don't either. So. No. Um, bookstore sales pretty meager according to Peter and uh, we're just off on our way. Uh, we attended the Michael of Rhodes plenary. It was fantastic. We had a really good interview. Um, thank you to Alan Stahl, Pamela Long and uh, David McGee for doing the interview with us. We really appreciate it. Um, well, we'll try to have that up on the website in a few weeks. And uh, Peter did buy the Michael of Rhodes, uh, one of the volumes, the green volume. <laughs> so whoever's editing that, Peter bought your volume. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> well, I had a chance to look at it for, uh, <laughs> before everyone else does, because that's like the only one for sale. So. Yeah. Um, I bought a couple books. I was kind of disappointed with the book sale this year. Usually I come back with like seven books, or I just didn't really see a lot that I wanted. And the things that I wanted were either already tagged as sold or hundred dollars so it kind of limited my choices in, in books this year but uh, hopefully next year will be a little bit better um, talk about the uh, we went to the pseudo society yeah the, there was, was there was great there was one really good um, lecture about medieval mortality uh, and that got a standing ovation so. uh, he was very good very very funny yeah, yeah. hysterical yeah. Hopefully that, that uh, they were all good, but um, I'm hoping that that one, if they do the book, it gets published in, in, yeah. in the uh, Pseudo Society book. They, uh, well, I, I did a, a couple of lectures yesterday. Um, I, for, I, there was one called Weblogs in the Academy. Uh, it was the first time I had a chance to go. Um, it was basically uh, kind of uh, the academic uh, medieval bloggers uh, speaking. They were talking about like ones that that do pseudonyms or are anonymous and like kind of reasons why it's done and uh, kind of uh, just uh, factors into that. So I thought it was kind of interesting. It was kind of interesting to meet up with them, uh, sort of put names to faces, even for the uh, ones I knew of, so. Um, I went to a Tolkien Society uh, lecture on um, the different papers on uh, the children of Kieran and uh, there's some interesting um, there's an interesting paper on uh, the women and uh, Tolkien's representation of them in that uh, in that book. I also went to a <clears throat> another lecture on St. Clair of Assisi and um, women, uh, lay women uh, leadership in um, 13th and 14th century Italy. It was a uh, it was very interesting. There's some very interesting papers on. Um, St. Clair and uh, the women in her order, um, and I really enjoyed the lectures that I attended. They were very good, nothing boring, nothing dry, actually, really, really good papers this year. Uh, I had, uh, I, uh, last year, yesterday, I also hit the, uh, one of the daily military sections. There's like over 100 people in attendance. It was packed to the room. Uh, John France gave a paper on, on crus uh, crusades and idea uh, um, uh, uh, just ways of the uh, conflict was, things like that. Dana Cushing, who, who she saw here a couple days ago uh, on her blog, she gave her paper on Cogs, uh, Cogs traveling in the Third Crusade, which got a lot of in interest, a lot of questions. And yeah, yeah, she was part of that. Um, we yeah. interviewed John France, okay. so uh, that will be coming up uh, fairly soon on our okay. site. Thank you very much for um, interviewing with us. Uh, he was a lovely, lovely gentleman, mm -hmm. and uh, he had a great interview. Yeah. Um, also, for other people who know about Daily Monetary, I, I run that website too, and uh, I'm going to be updating that site mm -hmm. over the summer, giving it a, a brand new look. Uh, it's kind of not. Uh, it's kind of a stale look, so <laughs> it's going to get updated, uh, and that's my kind of summer uh, project. You saw Kelly that, or is he going to Oh, uh, no, no, <laughs> I, I, I asked at the business meeting for, uh, for permission to do it, because it's their website.
I just do all. I just do all. Camera now that they, you said their website was stale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but oh, I'm getting ready. Uh, so I got a ton of work. We got. We're gonna head back to Toronto and post. Um, we all. We also did a ton. Well, Peter did a ton of interviews with the um, editors, um, publishers, publishers uh, at the book book uh, sale yesterday, which was really good. Thank you to. Um, Ashgate Grill, uh, Oxford, and University of Toronto Press. University of Toronto Press um, for providing uh, interviews. We're going to post everything up in the coming few weeks, yeah. so um, check back and you'll see yeah. our interviews and this lovely blur. Yeah, yeah, we'll see yeah, them on yeah, the yeah. We've got that and ah, uh, oh, you know, like, but we'll we'll be keeping like over the summer to see a lot more articles, a lot more. Uh, Reviews. Yeah, book reviews, we'll do. Uh, Movies. Yeah, video book reviews. I'm going to try that. Okay. <laughs> so that's more video content for uh, this medievalist, uh, medievalist channel. So. Okay. And uh, beyond that, we need rest. Yes, another lovely six hour drive home to Toronto now. Yeah. Well, six to seven if you're me and you get lost on the I 94. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so we're off. And thank you for watching.